In this video we're going to look at how you start adding elements or content to your um, Canva project. So to start with I'm just going to go into the elements tab here. The elements tab has pretty much everything other than the text that you can put in. All the static or the graphical elements and all the different options that are here. Now again because you've signed in with the education account um, you have access to pretty much everything that can be there. You can see they're actually um, grouped together so these are ones I've used recently these are featured ones but then you've got all your lines and your shapes and your frames and stickers etc so we'll go through each one of these but there's some basic concept to start with and I'll do it with the shapes so I'm going to go to see all and that way you can see many more shapes that are available to me you can search for shapes here um, I'm not going to worry about that at the moment um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to bring um, this um, do, 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 do. Octagon in? No, it's not octagon. It's a, a um, hexagon. I'm going to bring this hexagon in, and um, then I'm going to. Now I've got the object in here. I'm going to play around with it and make it change. So some things we can do. First off, you can change the color. So that's quite simple. You can change all the different colors. Um, these are the ones that we have different options. So we can add another palette. So you can see here that I had this palette, Miller Yard. Brune, I can actually add different palettes. I'm going to hide that there. So, add different palettes here. These are the, a theme color if you want. So, I might instead choose a theme color palette of. Give me one that looks. Ah, uh, yeah, that was one. So, the boy school one there. Radio. Bright lights. Okay, so that's my other palette here. So, I'm going to come back into here. And hopefully, that's been added in. Yes. So if I now close that up and come back to my colors, I should have other palettes, which it hasn't given me at the moment. But we'll deal with it later on. You can choose your different colors that are set in here. They're the actual default colors. But you can also, if you want to add a different color, you can use hexadecimal or just even drag different colors that fit in between. So I'm just going to choose a blue color here. And that's been placed in. Let's look at what else we can do. We can animate it. So it actually means that when they move, this is more so when you use it as a presentation tool, but it actually will move in and out, or it there, it will zoom in this way, or fade in, or rise, etc. I'm going to leave animate to no at the moment. Over this side here is some other useful stuff. So we've got position. So they can help you align things and objects around. So what I might do is I'm going to, uh, yep, so we can align different things in relation to the page. Um, so I'm actually make it all set up. Now I'm going to bring a separate, another box in here. And that's the box here. That's this shape here. And what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to have it so it is I'm using the corners to drag that out. Now the corner makes that it's equal um, width and height will change at the same space. But I just want the side to come out like this. I'm just going to make the look kind of heading space at the top up here. All right, so let's come down to there. I'm going to change this color to like it a gray. And now what I actually want to do is I want to put this, I actually want to see the little um, hexagon in front of that. So to do that, I click here and I go position and I can move it backwards. So it's kind of like layers that are on top of each other. So this has actually been moved to the back. So I can rearrange and move the objects around. Now if I want this and I'm holding shift down and I'm clicking the second one. If I want them to actually be positioned together, align elements, I can say middle and center and they've all lined up. Also notice I've got this group option here. So I can click on group and that will now make it one object. So I can move that around as a separate object. So you can use your different elements to build other items up. So I'm going to bring in here a heart and I'm going to change that heart to red because that's the right color for hearts. I'm going to shrink that down. Um, and I'm going to bring it into the middle here. And so you can see another way of lining up just shows me when I'm doing this, when I'm moving in, those purple lines there tells me that this is in the center that way. And this one tells me it's in the center of the object below it. If I come down here, there should be two solid lines, which says that's the center and center of the actual page. So I'm putting that one there. And I'm just going to put one last one. I'm going to um, put in a triangle as well. And I'm going to change the color of the triangle to purple. Um, and I actually want don't want the triangle this way. I want it actually so it's pointing downwards. So I can use this little handle here, and I can grab it and rotate it around. If I'm holding, sh no, I won't hold Control or Shift. Won't let me do that, right? So let's just bring it around till it's 180. That's correct. I'm bringing it up here, 
and I'm going to place it there and I want that to move one back as well too so position I want to move backwards so I've got the purple the um, red heart in the front and I click that object holding down shift I'm going to click all the other objects um, and hopefully I can now group those together let me see come on to you all right actually I'm going to go click on this click on the triangle then the oh that's a separate one okay click here triangle heart and I can't group those together because this one is grouped at the back so I need to ungroup it and then I can select one two three four objects and go group so they're grouped together and move those around as one well. now what's more I can now actually just lock that so it's now locked and I can't move that around so if I click over the drag if I'm happy with it it stays in that particular position so I can click on that and I can unlock it and I can change things what else have we got transparency so I can change the transparency so it actually starts becoming see-through which is probably going to be easier to do if I ungroup it and then I will make um, the triangle transparent so you'll see you can start seeing the actual behind it you can start seeing the um, hexagon so there is some of the basics about how to do that if you are happy with an object let's just say I'm happy with this I want to again want to click holding shift down and select all four objects and I group them now if I want to use that again I can click on this and just go here duplicate and there we go I now have got a second copy of it so that's just some basic shapes moving shapes in and how you can adjust and change things around in Canva